Today I'll be reading The Giving Tree. This is a retelling of a traditional Métis story written and illustrated by Leah Dorian. A long time ago, there was once a tree. It was an old twisted Manitoba maple. The Manitoba maple was special as she had a large weathered hollow within her trunk. Maybe this hollow was once home to a family of birds, or it might have been the sleeping place for a traveling porcupine. One thing for certain, this tree was beloved by my gran grandpa. Grandpa often called her the giving tree. So I asked my grandpa to tell me a story from his childhood memories. And he said, Long ago, when I was a little boy, my mama and papa often traveled by horse and wagon to visit our relations. My favorite part of our trip was the pipe break at the giving tree. This tree was located at the halfway point between our related Métis villages. It was the Métis way to stop for tea and bannock at the giving tree. As small kids, we got very excited at the sight of the tree as she appeared around the bend in the trail. It was our tradition to sprinkle an offering of tobacco at the base of her trunk every time we visited the tree. It was fun to unload our wagon for a friendly family picnic under her protective canopy. We love to make a small fire to boil our tea, cook our bannock, gather around to tell stories, and to chew on our dry meat. The most magical memory that I have was the time when my mama forgot to pack our sugar into the grub box. Oh my goodness gracious, said mama, I forgot to pack sugar for our tea and bannock. Son, spoke Papa. Come here. I want you to help me with something. So Papa lifted me up to look into the big hollow with the maple tree. To my surprise, in the bottom of the hollow there was sugar, tea, bundles of tobacco, letters, flour, and even a pair of moccasins. There was so much stuff hidden deep inside her hollow. I was awestruck as I pulled out a little canister of sugar. As Papa lowered me down, I said, Papa, what's all that stuff doing in there? My Papa explains to me that this giving tree is a sacred place for us Métis people. He told me that for generations, the tree hollow was used by Métis travelers as a cache so that it could help our people out in times of need. My papa said that it was the Métis way to use the tree cache as a message center and as an emergency supply stash. For generations, the tree cache was a symbol of honesty and respect. Papa told me that once a young man left an engagement ring for his sweetheart inside the tree. Two days later, the ring was delivered to his sweetheart safely by a man passing by her home. Papa loved our old Métis ways. Papa spoke of our beliefs. If you take something from the tree cache, you are responsible to put something back in return. Papa reminded me that it is our Métis way to be kind, generous, and helpful to others. Mama came over to the tree to get the sugar canister. She put several folded polka dotted hankies and a small pail into my hand so I could offer them back into the hollow. Mama thought that somebody might find the hankies useful, especially if they had a runny nose or needed a rag. It was so fun to place our offering back into the maple tree. I wondered who would someday get those polka dotted hankies. 
That day I understood why the old timers called her the giving tree, as she stood for everything good that we Métis people believed in. As Grandpa finished his story, he smiled, winked, and made me promise to one day tell my own children the story of the giving tree. He said, tell our stories so future generations will remember about the true spirit of being Métis. And that's the story of the giving tree.